Hi, it's T with Tea Quilts, and today it's going to be a very fun filled day. I am actually going to go meet Kevin the quilter today, and we are going to do a studio tour. And then afterwards, I'm actually going to stay for lunch and we're gonna do some sewing time and have some fun time. We've been knowing each other for a while, but we haven't had a chance to actually meet up because we both have very, very uh, busy <laughs> schedules. So stay tuned for a wonderful day that you are about to experience with me. Also, when I do, um, also I tried to give Kevin a gift and he would not accept it. Uh, he because I am selling t-shirts and so he did not want the shirt but I try to thank my people that let me view their studios and share them with you all because they do not have to so I have done something else in place of him not accepting that t-shirt so I'm hoping that you will get a chance to see it as well so so stay tuned for some exciting things that are going to be happening today I wish you would have put tea quilts on the side so I could advertise for you. You can you can do that. I did not want to put anything T quilts on oh. Kevin the Quilter shirt. This is about <laughs> your branding, and that's so what sweet. I kind of been into. You're so sweet. I just so, love yeah. it. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You so much. Okay, so let me change into this. I feel so special. <laughs> love you here. That is so cool. Love it. Do you need yeah. light? Yeah, we well, I can see you right now, but we'll be going into the other room. We're okay. You sure? Uh huh. Cause once it oh. be, uh, beam in on that white, <laughs> I can't think it up. This is that is too beautiful. Cool. It is so. It cool. is beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I lost my iPad, my um, stand at home. But this is my buddy. Hey. I love him so much. I love you. <laughs> I'm your biggest fan. You know that. <laughs> right. But yeah, but this is just so cool. When you wouldn't take the other shirt, I said, I'm going to make him a shirt that he can't not take. <laughs> Nobody else can use it. No one, no other Kevin the Quilter that I know of, right? right. So that is awesome. I love it. That I am beautiful. styling. Yes. <laughs> that is fun. So we're going to start our tour of Kevin's area, and he's also just going to go ahead and do a whole tour of his home, home style, his life, <laughs> for the most part. And we're at one of his chicken coops. It's attached to a barn, and he's actually in there. He's got a little person to show with us, to share with us. He's got a lot hey. of chickens in there. Yeah, <laughs> these, are, these are my friends out here. This is little Henny Penny, and she's one of my favorite chickens. Look at her, ain't she cute? How do you know she's Henny Penny? Because she's a girl. Okay. She's She lays eggs, and uh, she's a, uh, a black Spanish. Okay. And uh, she's a, a bantam, so she's a small bird. Okay. And she was this tiniest little thing when I got her. Oh. <laughs> They're jealous. They're jealous. She started out as the most scared little chicken, and now she's one of my best friends out here. She always comes and and beats. Okay. Beautiful. You want pet her? Oh, they so soft. Oh, they are. I will pet them, but she's, I won't hold her. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Very I nice. Like she's got lots of chickens in here. Can't even see because of the lighting oh, here. Okay, yeah. But he's got a lot in here. Anyone that knows me knows I love my chickens. <laughs> and I love those fresh eggs. Wow. So. Yeah, I didn't now I know why you have so many eggs for sale. Yeah. Right? <laughs> now do they do you ever get babies from any of I do incubate from time to time and okay. I also get some broody hens some okay. sometimes that like to sit on the egg. Mm-hmm. And they'll have them out, and uh, yeah. Okay. So a lot of them have been born here. Okay, that's awesome. Because yeah. I was gonna say it, you think it would start to get costly to have so many right. if you're not breeding any. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. 
and do because of the different coloring do they like different color eggs? they do yeah okay. i get all different color of eggs i do have the americana breed which lay the blue and green and pink eggs mm -hmm. and then i have white layers and i have brown layers and cream <laughs> layers so. now, and that's is that a rooster uh there's a rooster right there uh -huh, with, the, okay. with the headdress on. He's okay. a rooster. That's a little bit. His name's this Little Bit. This one is strutting around right yes, here. Yes, he is. All right. And yeah. then it must be one over. Is that y'all's property? No, that's okay. that's the neighbor's. And then you got uh -huh. another rooster over there? Oh, I have, yeah. Roosters and turkeys and a, and oh a dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> did you paint this? I did. Yeah, it was a kind of a nasty greeny color so very i wanted nice. it to kind of look like a barn and uh -huh. then uh, my sister made that palette for me so very nice yeah beautiful so was this barn here did you add this barn <laughs> no it was here on the property okay yeah so it was on the just, property when, when we got it just yeah. add it off yeah okay. and working to get some more uh areas to grow some broilers so we mm -hmm. can have some meat and, but I have turkeys and a duck down there, and they work my garden for me because I grow a garden. Oh, okay. Here. That's my garden area. Wow. And so he's the tarp area is where they are, but they also in the back yeah. shed I too. Have, is I that have a... them separated for breeding purposes okay. in this smaller blue area. Okay. Uh, you you separate a rooster out with some hens. And uh, you know, two or three hens, and that's a breeding uh, wow. flock for you. But yeah, and where's the, the duck? The duck is in with the chickens, believe it or not, because she was hatched with <laughs> some of the chickens that are in there. So uh -huh. she thinks that she's a chicken. Okay. Or they think that they're a duck. The okay. <laughs> One or the other. Right. Exactly. Okay. But that's yeah. pretty cool. And you've got about how many you think over there? Oh, I think there's probably about 10 chickens and there's four turkeys. You can kind of see them down there by that. Tree. Oh, I see the turkeys. Yeah, let me see if I can get a shot. Do you eat them? The turkeys? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. Right there. Absolutely. It's like four of them. We already have a, do you see the male rooster? I see the, uh-huh, I see the rooster. Tommy boy. And he's a goblin for you. Sorry, guys. I have to go under a tree. <laughs> <laughs> we live out here in the woods. This is awesome. I like the concept of having fresh eggs, but I don't oh, want to yeah. do the work for it. I'll give you some. I am so, <laughs> I am so terrified of animals, really? period. Okay. But I have been learning to tolerate dogs and cats. Okay. And I, because when I was a kid, all the dogs in our neighborhood were uh gotten to be guard dogs uh, so yeah. barking if they got out they would chase you to kill yeah, right. <laughs> so yeah. yeah i spent a lot of my childhood running <laughs> jumping on cars <laughs> <laughs> and this is the quilt mobile right here <laughs> yeah where's your where's your quilt fit on your car it's not gonna be on there until the quilt show oh, okay all right <laughs> so now we're gonna go inside kevin's home he has a home that's filled with quilting. Is a barn quilt that my sister made, who is supposedly not artistic, but I beg to differ. Wow. Looking at that, she gave that to me Christmas a couple years ago, and I just love it. And she had no idea that she was making a sister's choice <laughs> quilt, so it's pretty fitting. Yes. Yeah. I think we must have got like some condensation from oh. hot and cold. Oh. But yeah. Do you need a anything else? To yeah, it's, like, it's gone. Okay. Okay. You want to go in first? I'm following you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you so. have some light over there? Okay. <laughs> He's got a beautiful kitchen. You walk in. He's got chickens. beautifully decorated. <laughs> he loves chickens. Lots of chickens. And those are all fresh eggs. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, you get to go home with those. Those were just gathered this morning. Wow. So, yeah. And so he wanted to share. Yeah, this is my uh, maternal grandmother's 
treadle sewing machine. And my cousin had this for years in Kentucky. And uh, when she found out that I was into quilting, she was downsizing and she asked if I wanted this and I said, yes. <laughs> so we went over, my mom and dad went over with me to pick it up and mm -hmm. it was so sweet because my mom just, it brought back a floodgate of memories for her. And my dad has refinished the cabinet and he's refinished the iron. It's beautiful. Yeah, I'm really, I'm yeah. really, so happy that I have it as a part of my beautiful mine's isn't bad but it's not pretty as pretty as this is <laughs> dad did a really nice job with it my cabinet isn't it's in bad condition yeah and he put some he shellacked on top yes he did he tried to, to make it, it yeah he tried to make it look at, as original as possible mm -hmm. in that dark wood mm -hmm. and then uh he he did varnish because i need it. to do mine so that it doesn't get any more scarring because uh -huh. i i don't know if i want to i have refinished wood before it's a lot of work yes it is <laughs> yes it is it's a lot of work and that's his Oh, Don't worry, be scrappy yay. shirt that he wanted T quilts on the yes, sleeve. Yes, absolutely. So that was pretty cool. Yes, <laughs> I love it. Okay, and then you want to do your bedrooms yeah, now. Sure. He's going to show you a couple of his bedrooms, or at least there's, one. Yeah, there's a. Uh, I, I tried to get yeah. some antique quilts in there that I've, I've accumulated so along the way. I know you all like to see quilts, and then he does. He is a lover of antique oh, quilts. Oh, absolutely. This is a cover. Look, feel of that tea. Oh, there, it there's no, the there's no batting. It doesn't. In that. It looks like a quilt. Exactly. And Beautiful. I think that this probably was older blocks, and this definitely looks like an indigo to me. And it's mm. my favorite block. This should give it to me. That's your... <laughs> <laughs> well, <okay. laughs> and those are some old quilts, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> they're in the polyesters, and it's just a mm -hmm. horse applique. I got some of this. It must have been a phase because yeah. I got butterflies yeah. exactly like this. Oh, there's some fun fabrics in there. Wow. Yeah, it's interesting to see what somebody gave them to me, but apparently they must have had them for a while. Yeah. And then this is the guest room here at the quilt cave. So if a quilter wow. comes over to stay, and, and this whole house is a work in progress. Okay. It has been a work in progress for the past three years. <laughs> um, that's an old sewing machine uh, cabinet. Over there, that's I really beautiful like that. too. I like the, I haven't seen, I think that's different with the. Mm -hmm. I just really like the legs the of it. The scroll yeah. work, uh -huh, and the legs too, yeah. I haven't seen anything like that. Mm hmm and then I love this quilt. I love it because it's pastels. Yeah, it's so and this bright. was given to me by a student who moved away, and she found it at a uh, an antique mall in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. And it's a really beautiful, and it just happened to be that our scrap club, hosted by Kevin the Quilter, was uh, working on the uh, Lone Star. Where does your scrap club meet? Scrap club meets the fourth Thursday, and we have a spring session, and we have a summer session. So we're right at the end of our spring session right now. Okay, so. and you meet where? Uh, 18 North Central O'Fallon. Okay. Uh, and that's the name of the place. Okay. So, and it's a wonderful venue, and we, we invite you, if you're in the area, go ahead and come on. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and then I want to talk about, he's got a whole letter of quilts here. Yes. And a lot of these you have, I know you've done this big star when it's on your blog. Yes, that's And what's Sapphire. your blog? My blog is Kevin the Quilter. Okay. Blogspot.com. Okay. And that is Sapphire Stars. Uh, that was a mystery quilt, and uh, the pattern is on my blog. And then many of the other quilts are things that have done, been done with scrap. It was from. accepted. Somebody made this quilt, and it was accepted in a national show, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, but I been can't remember her local name. Shows too, several also. local shows. And they hung them next to each other, and one was a little bit different. It was. Really it was beautiful. I yeah. love that. I did that. I took. They saw that. Is it, is it bits and pieces, Gil? It's or was it the, loose threads? I, I can't it remember. Threads, Might have been yeah. loose threads. So if you're wanting to see a whole gallery of these quilts, look at the loose threads quilt show. Yeah. Video. But these are just things that have done. Just you know, nice. All work by you. Yes. All of this, with the exception of this, and this is a very, very special quilt to me, because the members of Scrap Club made all these blocks oh, and then presented me with this quilt. That is nice. Yeah. Barb presented me with it. She had won the Beautiful. blocks, and she made two. And she said, "I want you to give one to your mother." Oh my goodness. <laughs> so it was just one. Really sweet. Yeah. So it's really super wow. special to me. Just yeah. gorgeous. Alrighty. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing the extra parts of your oh, home pleasure. life with us. 
and then I'll follow you down. Then we go down here, and of course there's a chicken quilt here on the railing, you know. Uh, a lot of people send me chicken fabric and chicken blocks from the blog, so there's a lot of different chicken things, but this is the studio then, down <laughs> here. I have a living area over here, watch TV, um, but this is my studio. Okay, so let me do an aerial scan. I'll start on this side, and okay. then we'll start. Let me get further in. So we just walked in from this area, and I just want you to get an aerial view first before we start walking around. Somebody's going to say, you're moving too fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like I'm moving slow when I'm actually doing this, but then when they're watching it and it says, it's too fast, it says up there, Kevin the quilter. <laughs> And then this side here. All right. So we'll start on this side. We'll go back over there in just a bit. Okay. So we'll go ahead and start with what do you do? What's your specialty? And then how do you work with that? Because I think you have a good story with that. Well, uh, I am a scrap quilter through and through. And I have been around quilting my whole entire life. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandmother was a quilter, <laughs> had two great aunts that had a business. So when I was a teenager, I worked with them uh, in the quilting business. And then, you know, you go through life and you go to college and, and it's not as important. And then you've you need something later in life. So mm -hmm. I've been a flight attendant for 18 years. I need something to fall back on. Mm -hmm. And I fell back on quilting. So okay. I, I travel with a sewing machine. Whenever wow. I'm, when I'm flying. Which and one? I, your featherweight right because here, it's little? Okay, yeah. we'll get to those. But I just was asking. So yes. I was reintroduced that way. And okay. that's when it, when it all came back to light. But I love scrap quilts. Uh, I always have, even when I was a kid. And that's what my grandma made. So... Mm -hmm. um, Whenever someone finds out you're a scrap quilter, mm -hmm. you, you get all of these things that <laughs> these people have saved, mm -hmm. and they're like, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. So when they start reorganizing, you benefit, and you are blessed by them. Mm -hmm. So that's the way I have accumulated so my I wanted scrap. them to see this wall. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to come in close now. So... He so, sorts his scraps a whole lot different than I do. Yes. I sort by color, but I don't go as, with the strings uh -huh. like you do in crumbs. Well, this is just chunks, so I can get a good chunk out of all those. But these smaller ones up here, these are all crumbs, and I do it by color. And it doesn't matter the hue or the value of red it is, if it's brick red or a rest me red, mm -hmm. it's red. So, you know, I, I go that way. With the crumbs, the chunks, and the strings. So these are the okay. crumbs. And then all my strings are sorted by color. Whoop. Uh-oh. Munch don't... just went bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, the strings are done the exact same way. Okay. Chunks, and then... And chunks. Crumbs. And then you've got... Bigger containers. Yeah. These, this is a boutique section, and it it contains all boutiques, okay. and they're separated by color in there as well. You can okay. kind of see. And then this is K Facet. I love K Facet fabrics. Okay. Uh, this is my Civil War repros. Okay, um, those, down on the bottom. Uh -huh, yeah. And those are done by color as well. And then this is just the larger amount of strings that I have because whenever you go through, it seems like blues and reds and neutrals are the biggest amount okay. that you always get in like a scrap haul. And you've got a lot of yellow, which is unusual yeah. too. Yeah, and I love I love a gold. Mm -hmm. I love a, gr a bright gold. But then I have my go-to books. Okay. I have backing fabric that I've accumulated. Some I have bought, some has been inherited. Mm -hmm. And then I have just some, you know, kind of crazier prints. Like I mm -hmm. would really love for you to teach me sometime how to do one of those one block That's, wonders. Oh yeah. yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> that would really kind of be cool. And then I have solids. Okay. Christmas. And then my neutrals are over here. Some excess. Over it's here, pretty cool. It. Now my question, if yeah. you're sorting your scraps by color, what do you, do you have a lot of multi prints? I do not because that's my that and that's what I'm saying. You're selective then in what you're picking up for yourself, and you might what I'll keep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what I'll keep because you know I do know, have other quilters that will use those things. Mm -hmm. But if I cannot designate a color, mm -hmm. I usually don't keep. It. Okay, because I have that's my issue, and then I just have an area of just all the prints because mm -hmm. I don't and I don't use them as often because they're not in the other places where I go to get stuff. Right. 
Right. So yeah. Well, I do have a little gift for you today. This is yours <laughs> to take with you. So, what exactly what, is that? It's Look. some scraps. Oh my it's gosh. Some scraps. Look at this maps, guys. I'm going to do a whole video on just this box. <laughs> I do stuff like that. I, well, sure. Yeah. I'll buy like I a, I don't even that. need fabric or scraps of like that, not. but I'll go buy somebody's scrap bag so that I can sew it through them. And then most of the stuff I don't use, but it's interesting that none quilters have a lot of fabrics that we can use. Yeah, absolutely. And what better gift can you give to another scrap quilter <laughs> right. than some scraps? I just so. want to talk about this wall. Yeah. We're not going to go in this door, but I want to talk about some of the quilts that you've got uh -huh. displayed. Lori uh, DeJarnet of Humble Quilts uh, has a doll quilt swap every year, and I've participated in the past mm -hmm. four years. This is one that I received from a gal up in Iowa, okay. and she really replicates those Civil War looking mm -hmm. doll style quilts. This Beautiful. is from Victoria. Victoria Finley Wolf, she and I did a, a quilt swap amongst ourselves a few years back, and mm -hmm. this is the quilt that I received That's from her. That's pretty cool. My cousin Phyllis made me this. Uh, she's an excellent cross stitcher, and she made that for me, and I just love it, it because it's, it's so true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. This is one of my workshops that I offer, String Star. And then this table here is where I do my current projects. This is okay. what I'm working on. Um, you can see I have fabric pulls here and this is the tree project I'm working wow. on. Wow. This is a leader Look at this. project. There. And you're still only using one piece of fabric in the whole quilt? Well, no, there's multiples of, of some okay. of these because there's so many pieces in okay. each block. You're making yours huge. Well, yeah. Bed yeah. size? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm making this in honor of my uh, sis sister and brother-in-law's 25th okay. wedding anniversary. So, All right. Is this anniversary. something to do with Martelli? It is. Um, I was nominated as a quilting angel a few months back. <laughs> And I received this as a prize, wow. and it's really nice. I don't know if you've ever used these. I've but, never used them. Um, the Martelli has this signature backside, so it sticks on the fabric. Okay. And then it's it's done in uh, like this is a one and a half by twenty four, mm -hmm. and you can cut strips with that. But now this is what I use. What the most sizes of. do they go up to? Uh, I think it's in the half largest inch one. increments, so it's two, two and a half, three, and three and a half. Okay. Uh, but I really use these squares a okay. lot, and they for squaring up your blocks. Yes, well, not necessarily. Or just cutting that. square. Cutting squares okay. for projects. So okay. yeah, they go up in half inch increments okay. as well. So you got both of these as a gift. Yeah, wasn't that nice? Wow. Yeah, it was done. In How did you become of... an angel? Because they sure don't want to know that. <laughs> I know, you know me, you're like, how is he an angel? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, uh, I do a lot of work with Quilts of Valor. Okay. Um, Quilts of Valor, Eastern Missouri in particular. Okay. And so that was one of the reasons, and also with my work with Scrap Club. Okay. Uh, so one of the members nominated me and wrote a little article. Oh. I was, I was very honored. That so, is very yeah, nice. I was very honored. And so what's this project? This is a leader That's ender project. Too. And a lot of people think that a leader ender project is just squares. Mm -hmm. You can definitely do strips mm -hmm. as a leader ender. And um, like I said earlier, I love going into an antique mall and looking at antique quilts. Mm -hmm. I saw this old tattered hundred patch quilt. Wow. Then, and that's what this is. And I okay. have a lot of muslin okay. to work with uh, the Civil War prints. So that's what this is. You're just planning to put them together? I am. The I sashing? Have... You haven't decided um, yet? I kind of like that zigzag idea. Okay. You know, kind of doing a zigzag. Very uh, nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. He's got a whole, almost a whole wall, this <laughs> design love. wall. It's just beautiful. I love it. And all it is is foam core board. You know, okay. you can get it at Home Depot or Lowe's. Mm -hmm. Just get whatever size thickness you want. Uh, it's put up there with some bolts. And then this is the Cafe grid fabric. It's mm -hmm. a flannel. We talked about that from Francesca yeah. Studio. Right. And I love it because, you know, even though it's probably not absolutely exact you can kind of figure out you know this right. is a two inch square and you can go i don't think there. your grid's going to be perfect on right. flannel but it helps to give you an approximate when you're laying stuff out absolutely beautiful and i do love this and i and my friend uh dar beautiful projects too yeah. this is a project i'm working on i'm, I'm excited this is and, beautiful um Doing kind of a so color, color wash. wash. Yeah, kind mm -hmm. of a color wash idea. Beautiful. For and you're auditioning the border out there? Is I that am. what you're making? Um, I had a lot of extra 
pink, or I'm sorry, purple uh, crumbs. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of want to, because I think you call this mosaic. Right? Yes, yeah. uh, that's what I like and to call I, them yeah. because they can, they because just really start does, to bloom. To me it looks like stained glass. Mm -hmm, that's what I said. Yeah. You just don't have that other piece in there, but they still stand alone right. as more mosaics to me. But I'm thinking I may need to do something other than just the purple. So I just kind of am, am playing with it right now. And that's what I do a lot when I mm -hmm. quilt. I'll put it up here and I'll have to mull it over sometimes for several weeks. <laughs> I like it though. <laughs> Thank I you. I like it with the purple too. Thank you. All righty. We got a gem here. I'm going to give you a close up first <laughs> of this beautiful quilting. That was done by Dar as well, right? Yes. Okay. It was custom quilted by Dar. And just beautiful. Just want you to see the quilting and then I'll come back. This is a pattern that Kevin has for sale. Mm -hmm. My very and first professionally written pattern. How would people contact you to order this through pattern? Through the blog. Through the blog. Through you the can blog. leave a comment mm -hmm. and then leave your email address so that he can send you a yes. PayPal invoice. Exactly. So how much is this pattern? $10. $10 plus, mm -hmm. I'd say three fifty dollars or so for shipping. For shipping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. To make sure that you get your pattern. So it'll be about $13, $14 mm -hmm. to get this pattern. It's beautiful. And, uh, you know, when I wrote it, I don't know about you, but like, whenever you read someone else's pattern, sometimes it's very confusing. Mm -hmm. I try to make it absolutely as simple as possible because that's what i need myself so what is it called it's called good night darling <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool that's the name of the quilt yeah. and he's actually going to give her this quilt when it's when he's done with his run with it yes. so yep. but it's beautiful and a nice gift thank you very nice Okay, so we're still just walking the four walls. We'll come back to what's in the center. Well, I'd like to address this okay. because pressing is is something that for you and I who are tall, I don't know mm -hmm. if you have this issue, but most ironing boards are so low and mm -hmm. I have a really bad back as it is. So my father helped me design this where it's up higher Okay. and it's much longer and I can pretty much lay a quilt out here and it's so important in getting that press before okay. we, we long on quilt or whatever. And then this base here. Yeah, is my that... dad made the base. He made the base? Well, now the base, I'm sorry. The base is part of an older iron. Okay. But Irons. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we had a battery die out that you haven't missed anything but we were just talking about irons and basically that he's having difficulty just like everyone else if anyone has a great iron i want to know myself okay yeah. this corner here has got the quilter's cave kevin the quilter <laughs> and he's also a dog lover as well oh, yeah. that's my little sophia on there okay yeah let's get a close-up of sophia <laughs> she deserves to be oh yes dog. but this is where i do all my cutting um, this table is higher too, is it he, made? This was custom made by a friend named like Jason. Okay. And he asked if anyone wanted it. And I wanted it to be able to fit one of these mats and be tall enough where, you know, I can just cut and I'm not bending down and doing okay. that kind of stuff. So, Very nice. Yeah. And I'm sure these are not the only rulers you have, just the ones you use on a more these frequent are much all the Really? Ones I have, yes. that's, a, that's not a lot. <laughs> Uh, That's pretty cool. What I find myself using the most is six by twelve. Uh huh. And then this here. The uh, six by twenty-four, six and a half, whatever six it is. Mm -hmm. And I, I do like Eleanor Burns Quilt and Bay because they're easy for me to read. Mm -hmm. They don't have a lot of other things going on, and, and <laughs> I need it simple yeah. to read. But that's pretty cool that yeah. you've done that, and then he's got an odd light right over his cutting area, mm -hmm. which helps too. Yeah. Yep. And he has lighting from his patio windows. Yes, and sometimes I'll just go out there and sew. Now we're and just being nice. nosy. It says Kevin yeah. a quilt up there, but what is this? This is just an old, uh, to hang your coat on. Mm -hmm. This was given to me actually by Dar. And oh, wow. I, I love it, and there's some storage down there. Pretty but, cool. Uh, yeah, my nephew made this for me. Okay. And I mean, that's the most special thing. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But this was made by an artist in Illinois. Uh, her name is Jean. It's beautiful, Isn't too. Isn't that beautiful? Stained glass. Very nice. I love it. And then there's Sophia who? Gracie Lee. That's okay. the girl that I lost a few years back that okay. was so traumatic. But, yeah. you know, she had a great life. And this is Love an antique style. I haven't seen it. this either. What is this? Well, that's interesting because this was <laughs> given to me, and 
the ladies' uh, sewing machine fit in here. My okay. vintage machines will not fit in there. I got to find something that'll work in there. Okay, but, but that's I pretty like cool. I like it up higher in there. I need it up higher. Mm -hmm. and, I and I love sitting here and being able to look out. I get a lot of wildlife in the back. Mm -hmm. um, I, it's great lighting. So really you said you only use vintage machines and all of your equipment. I don't have any machines that have bells and whistles. Okay. They're all vintage. This was my grandmother's that Do you have any that even on. backstitch? Oh yeah, they all backstitch. Okay, because I know some but of I the featherweight do <laughs> Yeah. Okay. No, well. They, yeah, they do backstitch. Okay. But like zigzag, or don't zigzag, have that you don't have automatic zigzag. cutter. Okay. You know, knee lift, you know, and needle this lift. Is the, this is I'm a the yeah, actual machine. It's a little difficult to see. We don't have to cut it on, but I just want them to see because some people don't even get the opportunity to see antique machines. Right, right. So. And the Spartan is just—it was made by the Singer Manufacturing Company, okay. but they were—they were produced in Great Britain. Okay. And um, you know, they were a knockoff of the Feather exactly. Singers. Ninety-nine. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I got some of those mm -hmm. too. And this is where you do your main piecing for this the most part? Is, yes. Okay. This is, and again, this was my grandma's machine that she taught me to piece That's in. beautiful. Yeah. And I've got one of these three in one heads. Yes. Um, Very nice. It, it just meets up to a vintage machine or, or you know, like any a machine. machine. And it's just nice to have a wider work surface mm -hmm. out here where you can. I never thought about putting that onto my featherweight. Mine is mm -hmm. just collecting dust. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's yeah. a good idea because then I might use it a little bit more right. too. And then I'm just going to go back into this corner just to show him. He's got like a file cabinet here, but I just want you to show he's got his music. Oh, yes. I listen to music. Sounds. I don't watch television. Now. Okay. And I love listening to music. I don't know. Do you listen to music when you quilt? No, I uh, no. I, I'm never one of those people because I can put it in my head and do. Okay. Like if I'm doing loops, I do loop and loop and loop so a, and loop. Okay. So it's in my head. I've been taught to say it. This is funny, and I, I you know, as long as I've been quilting, if I listen to disco music, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get more done. Because <laughs> I love your dance around that upbeat music. I just uh, you know getting cut. That is and, uh, pretty oh, funny. I know because you kind of want to chain piece to the music you know mm -hmm. you get going through there that's pretty but, cool yeah, this is all storage for you know my um this scissors is, and rotary cutters this is a kitchen cabinet counter that yeah. he's using but it's a long one and so now they're gonna want to see these they want to see how you're storing oh, sure. so come no, on with it no these are just odds oh. and ends i okay. have quilt hangers and stuff in here okay. i put patterns in there okay and then thread Threads in the bottom. Yeah, and then not a lot of stuff, just some not extra storage. No, he's pretty good. He's a good quilter because <laughs> he don't have the abundance that most of us quilters That's true. have. That's true. And then he's got a lot of things out there that are still decorative, which I love because it gives Me back to too. his personality. Well, and I I've received these from such good friends, blogging friends. This mm -hmm. is from my friend Wendy in Maine, and this is from uh, Jan out in uh, Utah, and it's just really super special. And of course, there's a chicken measuring tape. So. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But they know my love of chickens too. And then more scraps here. Yeah, this is my Ecky Quilt Studio cutting area. So this is a pull through from uh, a workshop I'm doing with a couple of friends. Okay. And, uh, so I, I Did you get the Ecky Quilt too? No. This is the studio. I'm talking about, not, you know, fall. Yeah, yeah, so the only reason I got that, because sometimes I would. Uh, take it and do demos with it at our mm -hmm. quilt shows sure, and so yeah. it was just easier for oh, me to carry absolutely but yeah this is stationary this is out all the time i have all of my dyes right in here and wow. you have some more dyes in here i need to come visit you too um, and then and you, you, you got a lot of dyes yes. just like me but we might have different stuff i think you shared this before but go ahead this is perfect for cleaning your mm -hmm. Aggie Quilt Studio dies. Um, it just picks it up, you know, if you have a bunch of threads from your cutting. Mm -hmm. uh, just use that little lint around it. And I also use it on my design. So you even got some go dies, and you must mm -hmm. have a go adapter. I do have adapter. the adapter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I do have the adapter. For so we were talking time. about that in one of our recent um, mm -hmm. live mm -hmm. chats. Yep. But you can still use the go dye. Absolutely. And then more dye storage in here, I'm assuming. Um, actually, or... I keep like my starch and stuff. Oh, in starch. Here, okay. And I do have some extra irons in here. Okay. For whatever I have worked so out. he's got this big storage unit, but he really doesn't have a whole lot that's hidden 
as far as fabric is concerned and things like that. That's it. It's just this wall. So he, he's very prolific and he's kind of using your in and out is about the same Absolutely. intake. Yeah, so, I, I try to use it up. Like if the, you can see some of those bins are a little bit on the full side, that means I need to use those colors mm -hmm. in a quilt. So. Right. Now we're going to talk about the quilt here on the oh, wall. Yeah. Did you make that? Or something? No, I didn't. Um, this was That's from beautiful. a lady. I'll have to see what her name is. Her name <laughs> is Cuppy Duke, and I think she lives in I'm Idaho. Zoom in. But that was done off beautiful. of a portrait of my girls, and you know how mm -hmm. crazy I am about my mm -hmm. girls. Just beautiful. So, yeah, I love it. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Is this a pattern up here? This is. This is my sort of kind of Amish workshop. I'm working in a series of uh, Amish patterns. I'm doing, you know, the crown and string piecing mm -hmm. with it. And, and I think it really adds some dimensional texture mm -hmm. to, to, to those very simple designs that Amish use. Mm -hmm. um, and then do some organic clothing with some organic cross -tops. And that's the beauty of string and crumb quilts is because a beginner can get into this. And it, this simple quilt, if you had just used three fabrics, a red, a blue, and a black, it would not sing how it's singing. And I looks beautiful agree. in this camera. Thank you very much. It's beautiful. And you just did straight grid quilting. Let me give them a close-up because it doesn't take a whole lot. Yeah. And it's even organic. It is. It is not. It's not measured See here? I don't know if you can see in the print. It's not measured equally. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. But beautiful. I think sometimes we overthink things and overdo it. And then here's another one of his crumb quilts. Magnificent quilt over here. And then we've got one more wall here. Yeah. Let's start it up here at the top. Well, I like to challenge people to use up their scraps. And how many of us have those leftover little pieces from a project that we're making? So I challenged Scrap Club, hosted by Kevin the Quilter one, to use up those extra scraps, make something. Mm -hmm. And we had lots of people come in. This is mine, and I absolutely love it. It reminds me of Light Bright. <laughs> oh, that is true. That is true. So now that you say love that. that little piece up there. And then Anakin. another challenge here with the uh, geese. This was uh, another quilt that I received from a gal out on the East Coast from Lori's uh, okay, dog You're a quilt, popular so. guy. <laughs> It's okay. a lot of fun. And actually, this one was too. This scallop. What is from this? Mine. Uh, is this con attached to no, this? No, it's or not. Is it just sitting my, there? Uncle, okay. my uncle uh, made these cabinets, and I this was my great aunt's. Okay. And actually, inside it, I have some of her quilt pieces that wow. she had has um, made, and she just had stored in there. Wow. And uh, so it's just special meaning to thing. me. Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. special meaning to me. So. Beautiful. Yeah. You just come from a crafty family. I do. Yeah. Uh, and then another antique this, yeah, machine this is, in here. Uh, I believe this is a 99 in here. Uh, okay. This is from uh, my uncle's in-laws and then, of course, some chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then the last thing we just haven't talked about is his sewing table. He does classes yeah. uh, in his home. Mm -hmm. So he'll have small classes, but you, and then he's got a couple machines, but you can still bring your own machines. Oh, and absolutely. Then, do you piece here? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, this is, this is the sewing machine that I travel with that we talked about earlier. Okay. Um, this is a, a Singer Featherweight. Okay. And it's from my friend. Mm -hmm. And she is named Miss Bev. And I'll tell you what, she gets a workout. <laughs> Let me just move you <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Go right ahead. Uh, but what uh, year do you remember? I, it's in the 40s. I okay. can't remember the year okay. right off the top of my head. Very nice. And I know that some of your viewers may say, oh my gosh, he's taped there. Well, that's painter's tape, and I use this all the time, and there is no, nothing wrong with my Wow. Uh, okay, so that's pretty cool. Because I always use a seam guide. Okay. Always, always. Very nice. Yeah. You'll have to put that back when you get here. <laughs> but I'll try my best. He's got beautiful projects he's working on here. Just gorgeous blocks. Thank you. And you know, and with with being a scrap quilter, and you know this too, I try to utilize as many different scraps in a project. So, like, take for instance these corner squares. Each square is going to have different yellows on the corners. So okay. I go through and I cut like that. Oh, okay. That's the way that I cut. 
Okay. Yeah. For so then that block. way you're just doing each block and then you just use another one. You're not worrying about right. it matching back up on the same right. square. Right. Exactly. Okay. Yep. So you have on this one, it's a little bit controlled only in the corners yeah. with the scrappiness. Mm -hmm. and, each. and sometimes that helps to stabilize the scrappy quilt that some people say they can't just do scrappy because it's just a hodgepodge right. of stuff. Yeah. But that's yeah. a great way of planning. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the big argument is controlled scrappy scrappy. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. As long as it's different fabrics, mm -hmm. even if it's the same color fabric, mm -hmm. if it's a different fabric, it's scrappy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then he does the leaders and enders yes. as well. And mm -hmm. he already talked about the fact that you don't have to just use squares and half square triangles to do your leaders and enders because I would make string blocks that way. Absolutely. <laughs> so, and then he has another singer here. Yeah, this is 301, I never, oh, and this is the I, 301. I do uh, my uh, strip piecing okay. on this. I'll tell you what, you can go to town on okay. this machine. So it sells I, fast? Yeah, it does. I, <laughs> and I, I always have like a project over here if I'm, if I'm string, or, pe well, I'm sorry, strip piecing. Mm -hmm. I'll always have that here. Okay. I use this machine. Very nice. And he's got them all marked off. <laughs> oh, yes. I use the same guy the for same everything. Guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, absolutely. It's gorgeous. Thank you. And he has, um, outside of his studio, he has a seating area and a kitchenette. And he has a few quilts here as well. They're antique. But I'll, who, you said this was a family member? Yeah, this was found in an uncle's house. And it's a very old house. And I do believe this is a very old quilt, if you can tell from the prints. But look at that crosshatch. Yes, beautiful. I just love that. And I love it when it got washed and it yeah. give you that texture on top where you put your hand over the top. Just beautiful. And I do believe this was a different color. It's just faded over time due mm -hmm. to the process of the. Very nice. Yeah. And, and we wanted to talk about this. Oh, this little mud right there. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. And that was sent to me from a friend out in California. Uh -uh. So. So uh, yeah, we do want to talk about this. Let me show him what it is. Okay. Now, I don't know about many of your viewers, but I know you and I talk about sorting scraps. And I like to sit here and watch TV sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I will have my scraps in a bag that someone's given me. <laughs> and I used to use just those hard trays, just a flat area tray. Well, mm -hmm. this I found at Hobby Lobby for $6.99. <laughs> I can clean the scraps up, put the strings in here. I can put, you know, little notions or a ruler if I need to see what size it is, like if I can use it for a, uh, an inch and a half, two inch, whatever strip. Mm -hmm. And then this is my work surface and I can have like my my phone or remote over here. And I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a little kid's nice. desk, but you know, I'm a bigger guy and it fits me. So, you know, that may help with, a lot of people get overwhelmed with organizing their scraps mm -hmm. and I really try to organize and then it's not such a chore if you can right. sit down your few hours that you do watch television exactly which I, it's not much but did I you make this quote behind you yes it is it's beautiful too yeah and he's got diagonal uh this is the quote so you can see the diagonal and again, stitching very and it's yeah very organic but i like that because most strings and crumbs are organic mm -hmm. so there's no rhyme or reason or pattern to them until you cut them into a half square triangle so i like the actual piecing and i do quilting to match that right, sometimes right. very nice yeah, and then i'm just going to show you the other part of this just because if he has a class he has you know place for people to eat their lunch and things like that and then a restroom too but we're not going to go <laughs> we don't know what a restroom looks like <laughs> Right, and this yeah. here is just the way my grandmother did it in her home. This was her wow. Home, and this was her lamp. Wow. And this is exactly the way it on was. So my grandmother taught my sister how to play the piano, and she taught me how to play. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and your sister probably had no interest. This is a puzzle. It is a puzzle. That you love doing puzzles, yeah. That's pretty cool. I have never saved one. Really? Mm -hmm. It's kind of neat to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah. So, Kevin, yeah. this has been a joy. 
I'm so happy to be able to share this with you. And it, you, you know we've been talking about this a yes, long time. It's I'm been so happy two to have years you here. in the yeah. making just for us to get private time together. We've yes. seen each other, but we have not had private time. <laughs> We're going to have some private time now. <laughs> right. So we um, are going to go ahead, probably get some lunch, do some yes. quilting. I know the lighting's a little darker here, but we're going to get some lunch, do some quilting. We're going to have a great day. And I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. I want to thank Kevin for allowing us in your home. And I mean almost your whole home, even outside with the chickens. My showed pleasure. you his life. Only thing we have not showed you is his his, his fur baby. He, he's got him locked up, and we're going to let him out. So maybe I'll add a little bit of footage on the end of this of the fur babies. But thank you all so much. Don't forget to go over to his blog, kevinthequilter.blogspot.com. Order his pattern. It's called Good Night Darlene. Good Night Darlene. And make sure you leave your email address so that he can send you a PayPal invoice. And make sure your PayPal invoice, I mean, your PayPal has your correct mailing address because that's how he's going to get your mailing info. But thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye everybody. <laughs> oh, you were so much fun. That is too much fun.